Well, this week, Farm Bureau members from across the nation are meeting here in Atlanta, Georgia for the American Farm Bureau Federation's annual convention. The theme this year is Growing Tomorrow, Together, People, Purpose, Possibilities. And Farm Bureau's President Zippy Duval says it's a great description of commitment both as farmers and ranchers and as Farm Bureau. We should be proud of our story. The American people is one, the American farmer is one of the most trusted professions in America today. That may not always feel true when you see the negative headlines, but our polling shows that 87 percent of Americans trust farmers and ranchers. And Montana Farm Bureau Federation President Cindy Johnson says that trust, along with Farm Bureau strength, all starts with its grassroots membership in states like Montana. It's pretty critical that states like Montana show up and have those conversations about policy development because as far as membership numbers, we're a relatively small state, but we have a massive land mass that's all involved in agriculture from timber and fishing and mining and farming and ranching. You know, we've, we've got a lot at stake. And so we need to be at the table when they're talking policy. You know, recently, there's been a lot of attention on wolves. Montana Farm Bureau Federation Vice President Gary Hybertshausen says it's important for people to remember that Montana, along with surrounding states like Idaho and Wyoming, do have federally approved state management plans for the apex predator. What happened in that case where the wolves expanded to was an area that they couldn't be in because of people, because of livestock, because of the population. The number that was taken still leaves us well above the threshold number. There was nothing that went against the program that was there. They, we want to, they want to look at, other folks want to look at the program. The program was done according to the law, according to the numbers, and according to what the conservation has told us. And with spring planning just around the corner now, Farm Bureau is also addressing those higher input prices here of late, like fertilizer. And there are a lot of industry folks here, those people who provide those inputs, and they realize the issue too. And it's, it's, it has to do with, they call it the backlog, you know, just not being able to get inputs to the markets. That coupled with the fact that we're reducing our petroleum output, and so the cost of creating some of those inputs is going up. Everybody's going to be in pain for a while. And I think that by having those industry folks here at the same meeting with production agriculture, we're going to be able to sit down at the table and have those conversations and try to get to a place that we can all live through and survive the next year at least. That's a look at your farm and ranch news from the American Farm Bureau Federation's annual convention here in Atlanta. Have a great day.